guys today I want to share with you guys a tutorial on how to do an envelope with some Stampatique stamps for Christmas first I want to start off by saying you're gonna see that my stamps are unmounted I unmount them myself because I like to be able to flex my stamps Stampatique does only sell these wood mounted so if you choose to unmount them yourself that is up to you I know some people are gonna cringe when I say that I do that but so today um, some of the stamps I'm going to be using are these awesome spirals this awesome texture cube and I'm just going to use these two I think I'm going to use this nice seaweed stamp and then holly wally which I guess I'll show you I've already got them colored here for simplicity so to save you guys some time so we're going to start with some distress ink in hickory smoke and I do record my videos upside down so that I don't have to rotate them so hopefully you know bear with me if things look a little funny I'm trying to do it backwards for you guys so I'm just gonna start by adding like a light distressing of that hickory smoke all over my envelope and I'm using the Tim Holtz sponge tool if you have makeup sponges they also work awesome I used to use those on everything I do I have switched over to these because I like that I can store them in the bottom of my ink pad. So I'm not trying to put a lot of effort into making this pretty, you know, at this point it's just getting a base color down. And I'm not going heavy in the center because, you know, that's going to be covered up anyway. So, so there you can, you can see it just kind of looks like a grungy gray mess, kind of. Next, I'm going to use that hickory smoke on my dots of the texture cube. And I think this is texture cube one. And I'm just going to randomly stamp this all over. You can do this with them still on a cube. Um, and this is why I store my stamps in these awesome iris tubs. So if you guys wonder. So that's what I do for storage. But. Now I'm just going to keep, sorry if I move my camera, I've got it up on my desk here. And I am just randomly kind of stamping all over with this. Alright, so got a little bit more grunge. Now I'm going to use that super fun swirls background. Try to keep that on camera. And same thing, just completely random. Um, I don't put a lot of thought or effort into this. This is going to be an envelope. And I think it's going to be fun no matter how it turns out. So, Okay, so now you guys can see there is my base background. Nothing hard about it. Simple. You can do this in any color scheme you want. You don't have to stick to these colors. This is just what I'm going with, a black and white theme for Christmas for this. So now I'm going to use what, the one that is called seaweed and I'm just going to ink it up here and I'm using some stays on and then I'm going to stamp it across the bottom for Mr. Holly Wally to stamp or to stand on and I'm doing this because it looks like a snowdrift to me so you can see how cute that looks already. Now to save you guys time watching me color I'll show you what I did color with. I used my Zig Clean Color Real Brushes, it says. And I use a variety of grays. I just have a bunch of them. I have the set of, I don't know, I think 30 or something markers. So let me go ahead and switch to, this is what it looks like after I have colored in these super fun seaweed. It does not look great. So that's what I did. And then we're going to place Holly Wally on here. And so I'm just going to use glossy accents for that. And you can use whatever glue you want. This just happens to be my go-to glue, even though it's not, you know, main intended to be a glue. But it's what I like as a glue. So, so. And this will definitely make it through the mail because it is some super... And this I also, Holly Wally was also colored with um, the Zig Clean color markers. So let's just place him so he's kind of standing on that little drift there. I'm just making 
get them on there all nice and flat. If you have one of those um, little brayers, you can use that. I have one, I just, I don't know, didn't like grabbing it, so there we go. So I've got him down. Pull it back on camera for you guys. And then to finish things off, just to make this nice and simple, I use these labels from the Dollar Tree, which I've got a gun from throwing my stamp on. So I just got these from our Dollar Tree and they're stickers already. And I just decided this is the one I want. So I'm just going to peel it. I cut it out so you guys could kind of pre-see here and see which one I like the best. So I'm just going to peel that off. Stick it down on there, and there you have it. One super easy and adorable Christmas envelope you can send out to all your friends and family. The other thing that would look super great on here is the Happy Holidays stamp, which I was going to put on here, um, and I might do that. I haven't decided yet. And then if you have the Stamp Boutique label, um, the large label, it would be perfect for an address label, but I don't have that one yet. It's still on my wish list. So I hope you guys like this. and. It was a lot of fun. If you guys want to see more of these, just let us know in the comments. Thanks. Have a great day.